In this article, Father Dwight Longenecker gives his take on the issue of married Catholic priests. He was an Anglican cleric, but he's now a married Catholic priest with children looking after his own parish. He said, Today I had a conversation with someone which has been repeated numerous times. Father, you're so good with the children and you understand marriage firsthand. Don't you think that the church should allow priests to marry? The church continues to uphold the fine and ancient tradition of priestly lifelong celibacy. It is the discipline of the Western Church that clerics are celibate, but it is a discipline which could be changed. St. Paul hints at this in 1 Corinthians 7.25. But should it be changed? Bishops were obliged to be celibate from the 4th century onwards and priests from the 11th. So celibacy has a long tradition. But in today's day and age, should the church allow its priests to marry if they so wish? A lot of people think so. Some say that the mandatory vow of celibacy is one of the greatest deterrents to increased vocations, but I would say that if mandatory celibacy were dropped, vocations wouldn't dramatically improve. It would also mean that a priest would have to juggle with two jobs, making him far less effective as a priest on the one hand and less available to his family on the other. The crisis in vocations has little to do with celibacy and far more to do with the secularisation of our culture. Less children per family is also a major contributory factor. Father Dwight goes on. Believing that married priests are the answers assumes that they are mature, happily married men. I'm afraid marriage does not automatically make a man mature, self-giving or happy. In my experience of married clergy in both the Evangelical Churches and the Anglican Church, it's not the magic bullet. Remember, married men are not perfect. Married clergymen are workaholics. Married clergymen are immature. Married clergymen have affairs. Married clergymen have drink problems. When a clergy marry break down, it is usually disastrous and scandalous and the hurt and pain ripple right through the whole church. I don't mean to paint a horrible picture of married clergy, just reminding people that it's not all quite as happy and wonderful as they seem to think. So, having married clergy will not necessarily solve the vocations crisis, nor will it necessarily improve the priestly ministry, and it certainly won't be a solution to any personal problems the priest may have. And don't forget, with having married priests, there will also be quite a number of divorced priests. That in itself would undermine the Catholic priesthood as a whole, as it does marriage. Father Dwight continues. There are other practical problems. Catholics say they want married clergy, but that they want to pay for them. I can get by because I work two jobs, parish priest and school chaplain. In addition to this, I speak and write and Mrs. Longenecker works. Not all married priests and their families can do this. I think the only movement there may be on this in the future is that the church may decide to ordain some older married deacons. But the faithful should think it through carefully. Yes, celibacy may not suit every priest, but believe me, there will be equal if not greater problems if we have a married Catholic clergy. Thank you all for listening and God bless you all. Oh.